Today's episode of Inches Spoilers for Jules. Hey there guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Rope Fed. Today I want to talk about Avengers, the real Avengers. The spoilers. That's right, so if you don't want to hear about spoilers, what are you doing here? Get out of here, it's in the title. What the, what the? Get out of here, it's the last chance. Last chance. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about what was good, what was didn't work. What? You know, I was pretty excited when I got out of this movie. Uh, I, I, But I... I I have those little nitpicks, you know? And yes, maybe I'm just a big nerd about this stuff, you know? And I'm gonna care about things that other people are not gonna care about, but... Hey. I wanna start it off with talking about the Black Widow and Bruce Banner. Apparently there's a little chemistry going on there. Apparently there's a little... Oh, there's a little... Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a romantic thing going on between those two. Which, you know, I, I don't have anything against, except for one thing. You know, Steven Tyler has this daughter, and oh, she was in the first movie, remember that? Oh yeah, and do you remember that or she played Betty? And, and do you remember that there was a romantic, you know, oh, and then, do you, what happened with that? What do you just kick? I mean, like, you know, it seemed like, Seemed like they were pretty simpatico. And then all of a sudden it's just like, let's get rid of her. Get out of here. I, I guess, I guess, are we just pretending that the first Hulk movie didn't happen? You know? I mean, are we doing that? I mean, I've always been on the fence about that, but I guess that's what's going on. Because, <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, Tony Stark was at the end of that movie. That, that movie was in the Avengers universe. Like, we switch actors, you know. Edward Norton played him, and uh, now we got Mark Ruffalo, and they're really different, and we're gonna start transferring But, you know, I'm happy for him, you know, just <laughs> these kids these days. I mean, if that's the road they wanna go down, if they wanna go down this romantic road, then, uh, more power to them. I ain't got nothing against it. I just, uh,. Some, you know, some things aren't matching up, which you're gonna have to deal with a lot, you know, in these movies. Basically, from where Iron Man 3 left off, I thought that Iron Man, you know, I mean that Tony Stark was just done with the armor and all that stuff. I hated Iron Man 3, I never made a video about it, but... Iron Man 3... I hated it. It had nothing. I repeat, nothing to contribute to the Avengers, any of it. Which every movie since, every single movie in this cinematic universe has something to contribute to the upcoming Avengers movie. This one had nothing, nothing, nothing at all to do. But you know, I'll also, I'll brush that aside, whatever. You know, I, I'm glad. I mean, these movies without uh, Iron Man would be He's half the reason I like to watch these movies, so. I said it, I'm an Iron Man fan, you know. Where was Falcon this whole time? I mean, he's at the party, you know, so's Don Cheadle, you know, and then, you know, they're making their little funny jokes, which I actually, I did like, I like how they showed the human side of these superheroes, you know, but then towards the end of the movie, uh, that, you know, Iron Man's like, oh, I got a little surprise for y'all, okay, and then, da, da, da. and then the Hell Carrier comes up, and then, you know, uh, he's like, hey, I'm here, and I, we're gonna see what we got for you, and they're like, let's see Nick Fury, when is it gonna, I don't know why I just made Nick Fury <laughs> like, he's, what's that, that? Anyway, so then Don Cheadle's like, I'm a war machine, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And our Falcon's gonna come out and he's gonna. And then. And, 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 and then he's gonna. And he never shows up. At least until the end of the movie. There he is. Where were you, buddy? I felt the same way about Hawkeye in uh, the second Captain America. Where was he? He's a part of. He's a very, 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 very important part of S.H.I.E.L.D., apparently. But. 
you know, not important enough for when it's collapsing to be there. I don't know. They actually did go, you know, into, you know, some things. Basically, um... Basically, he's married to Velma from Scooby-Doo. So, you know, he's got that going on. He's got a little, you know, secret farm family that we didn't know about. You know, and then they they did the whole, you know, oh, let's 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 go to a, let's go to a farm. Like I haven't seen that a million times in a movie, but whatever. I you know it works. When they had Thor going off and doing, a, he was so separate from this movie. Like he just had his own things he was doing that really didn't make sense. He's like, oh, let's go get my scientist friend, and then he's gonna go watch me get in a pool and take my shirt off and see the future. Which leads into all the things they saw, you know? I mean, they were all pretty cool. I, I like where they're leading certain things, you know? And then I like how Hawkeye's like, oh, I ain't doing that again. But yeah, I, I felt like, you know, certain things didn't quite make sense. Like I said, the scientist dude goes with Thor for no reason to the pool, other than to be like, bad things happen, people going there. Oh, but not do it. And then you don't see them again. They, they just had all these little cameos, which, added nothing to the storyline I'm in, but... I'd also like to know uh, how uh, Captain America got his shield back. Maybe it's a new shield, I don't know. But uh, in the last movie, it was, you know, it fell to the bottom of the ocean, and uh, they don't really explain how they got it back, because when it fell out of the helicarrier, I was like, <gasps> his shield! Oh no! They kind of made a big deal out of it, and then, you know, he's just got it in this one. You know, and the Avengers are together, and Iron Man's back in his armor, you know, like it's not a big deal, you know, and all that stuff, and you know, they just kind of ignored a lot of the things that happened in the last movies. It was kind of like when you're watching uh, X-Men Days of Future Past, and they just ignore so many things. They basically just made the Wolverine movie irrelevant, which I love because I hated that movie, and I honestly just think Hugh Jackman did it so he can be like, knocked another movie out of my contract list. Cause I think he only has like one, cause he had to do like nine movies. Uh, dude, I am Segway Nation right now. Like I cannot stay in one topic. Sorry, sorry about that. Now let's move on to the twins. Um, you know, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm sure some people spoiled it for you online. And I already told you there's some spoilers. Ugh. I already told you there's some spoilers in this. Quicksilver bites the dust. Boom, boom, boom. Another one bites the dust. Oh. Basically, they were like, oh, Fox is already doing their thing with Quicksilver, and he's so good that he might even have his own movie. Who knows? Uh, uh, and they kind of they kinda hint this whole thing that we're going to kill Hawkeye off. We're going to kill Hawkeye. Oh, no, we're not. It's like the same thing that they did with... Paul Walker in the Fast and Furious trailer. They're all like, he's like running up the bus and he's falling off the cliff. And he's like, things are falling around him. He's like, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. And then people are like, oh, he's dead in real life. He's not gonna make it. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Oh God, they're gonna kill him off in the trailer. They're not even gonna wait for the movie. I'm gonna make it. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I made it. <laughs> yeah, they got us. They tricked us, they did a wound, the bop, and this little dop, dop, and the pudding pop. They skaboodled us. They skaboodled us. Oh. Yeah, they kill him off, but you know what? They're bringing back people all the time. They got the Infinity Gems going on and stuff. He can come back. You don't know, you know? They kind of made Ultron like a crazy, goofy guy, you know? And <laughs> I actually didn't know how to feel about that at first, but I kind of liked it. You know, he's made by Tony Stark, so maybe, you know, you're getting that in there like, oh, you know, Tony Stark made him, so maybe... And he's very intelligent, you know, and he just had a lot of lines that made me laugh. Like, <laughs> first of all, when they induced, introduced Claw, when they got Andy Serkis in there, and he's like, well, I want to be in a future movie anyway, so might as well just, you know, start it off now. You know, and then when Ultron <laughs> rips his arm off, and he's like, oh, that, that'll be a... I'm so sorry. Uh, are you all right? Uh, I'm sure that'll be okay. <laughs> He's just dusting it off. <laughs> this picture, like, if that happened in the Terminator, like, the Terminator's, like, <laughs> killing people, and he's like, oh, ooh. It must have hurt when I just ripped your heart out. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? No? Oh, you're dead. But overall, I thought he was awesome. Um, I really wish that 
they'd given him just a little bit more. Um, he's supposed to be even smarter than he was. Maybe he's not dead. Maybe he uploaded himself into something. Like I said, I can bring people back. They're doing it all the time. I mean, look at Agent Coulson. We thought, oh, he's dead. I liked him. And then they bring him back in that TV show. Let's talk about Vision. First off, they bring him in way too late in the movie. I mean, honestly, I didn't look into anything. So when he came on the screen, I was like, whoa, that's Vision. Wow. But they brought him in way too, I mean, like, I thought, man, isn't this movie almost over? What are you doing here? And, uh, you know, he didn't really get as much screen time as everybody else. And he was a really cool addition, you know? And when he walks by and he has Thor's hammer after all the stuff they were doing, his chest and like, here, Thor, maybe you should do something. <laughs> that was awesome. And, you know, he, he has, like, Thor's cape going on. And they just... Uh, Vision's never really been a va favorite character of mine, but these movies just do such a good job of just, you know, making these characters that really no one has really thought into or anything, or, you know, most people, anyway. I'm not talking about you Vision fans out there. You guys are special. And they're just, like making these characters like intricate and Joss Whedon just does such a good job of writing for these guys. The, the, the dialogue in this movie, you just couldn't beat it. It was just spot on. It makes you see these characters as not just superheroes, but people as well. And I, I my hat's off to them. I cannot share in the delight when the freaking Hulkbuster came. That was so awesome. You know, but they were in Wakanda and I'm like, Black Panther gonna show up, you know? Or is there gonna be like a panther like running around in the background and they're like, oh, there's panthers around here, maybe the Black Panther, you know? Or maybe him just like watching from the buildings, you know? Cause they are in his backyard and he's just like, maybe I should, and he like looks back at his costume and he's like, nah, nah, nah. You know, uh, just something, you know, <laughs> I want to see him in there somewhere. I mean, of all the cameos in this movie, they didn't do that one? But whatever, we can get over that, guys. Come on, we're better than this. One last thing, one last line of business, folks. We're going to talk about, that's that little scene after the credits. Thanos is like, I guess I'm going to have to do it myself. I was on the Infinity Gauntlet. How awesome was that? How awesome was that? Just think about all the stuff that's gonna lead into. Just, just think about it. This is the first movie that didn't have something after the like complete credits was over. Like, brrr, like you know, you see like all like the doubly sound, and you've been reading all the names, and you're like, oh, that's John Glenn and Billy Babu and S Sally Susie Sally. You know, and then you get to the end, and there's nothing. They do that on purpose. They tricked us. They tricked us, guys. There's always been something, like, you know, with them eating sandwiches or whatever, you know, I mean, it was something, I mean, come on, it's, it, 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 you always done it, why, why are you gonna stop now, I don't, I'm not. but honestly, guys, like I said, I'm just nitpicking, this movie, it's a lot of fun, don't wait, don't wait any longer, you know, uh, to go see it, I mean, I, I, honestly, if you're watching this, and I just spoiled everything for you, shame on you, I'm hoping that, oh, Almost everybody that's watched this has already seen the movie, and you guys can share your feedback with me. What'd you think about it? Did you completely, like, agree with me, or are you just like, you know, oh man, I don't know what you're talking about, man, the Avengers sucked. Well, I don't know how you could say something like that. Just let me know in the comments below. Was there something I didn't cover? Was there, you know, things that you would have hoped? You know, what do you hope for these next Avengers movies? What did you want to be in this movie? What's the little thing that you nitpicked? I want to know in the comments below and of course you can always rate comment subscribe you know you don't have to but if you do well that would be awesome too so until next time keep those punisher hats on and i'll see you later